Today is October 2nd, 2024. I was going to pray last night, especially, especially with um, what happened with Iran launching so many ballistic missiles into Israel. And it would seem like it was an, would be an easy thing to pray about, to pray for. But I, I tried to start praying, but the words wouldn't flow. There was a block. And then I perceived some instructions from the Lord, which I obeyed. A part of that was I changed locations. And when I changed locations, I tried to start praying again. But I perceived something else from the Lord, which was not to pray, but to remain silent. And a lot of times in prayer, and pardon my little gimbal here, but a lot of times in prayer, we go in and we have an agenda and we pray and sometimes we do it with good intentions that we pray what we think the Lord wants us to say, as opposed to what the Holy Spirit of the Lord wants to do. So the Lord didn't want me to say anything. He wanted me to be quiet. And what I received next was simply this. Stay in your lane. So interestingly, even though um, those events were unfolding in Israel, it wasn't my lane and it wasn't my time to pray. And it may sound um, kind of weird, and there are times in Jeremiah chapter 7, chapter 11, and chapter 14, where Lord told the prophet not to pray for certain people because they've been in rebellion against the Lord for so long that judgment was coming. But that was not the case with last night. It was simply to stay in my lane. And I remember um, when I was in the military, at one point as a company commander, and I had an additional duty to serve as a battle captain, which meant spending time in the tactical operations center. I remember a platoon came around to attack. And throughout my military career, one of the things we were taught was about sectors of fire. So you had one platoon that was, that was, under, um, that was under fire. But the thing is, even though I had to tend to issues with a one platoon, it wasn't the only platoon in the, in the battalion. And the other platoons in the battalion had to tend to their mission. They had to stay in their lanes. As I'm speaking this message, I'm actually walking on the street in Jamaica right now. And it's a lane. I am familiar with it in terms of its entrance, but I've actually never been down this lane. That's a part of it. As I walk forward, that's what I'm looking at. And there's some obstacles ahead with the water that I might have to, um, to navigate. So one of the things I learned in the military is to stay in your lane. Maintain your sector of fire. So what's what's going on in Israel? The Lord did not need me to pray for it. But I'm sure he had other people praying for Israel, Iran, and all parties involved. So when the Lord tells us to stay in our lane, it doesn't necessarily mean that we didn't have good intentions. But what we want to do was not commensurate with the word, will, or way of the Lord. Another obstacle here in terms of more mud. So yes, last night, simply stay in your lane. And there's some practical applications regarding some things that happened recently. As of right now, where I am, I'm approximately 22 miles away from a place called Brownstown. The other day I did a video exposing familiar spirits. And there was an addendum to a video where I did it in a different location. And behind me was a high school named St. Hilda's High School. And if you know about Jamaica, St. Hilda's 
is actually in Brown's town. Candace Owens, she's doing this expose on Kamala Harris and her background to determine whether or not she's black or not. And there's some things that she's been getting from St. Elizabeth, Senti, Brownstown, etc. And I could have gotten involved in that because in the last month in September, I went to Brownstown twice. And in fact, when I'm finished recording this video, I'm gonna drive by Discover Bay, which leads up to Brownstown. So in a sense, I could have gotten involved in the Candace Owen things beyond just watching at times, but it wasn't my fight. So I had to stay in my lane because when something is going on, and it's also a tactic of the enemy, they have these distractions in life. And if you start focusing on these things, there's not God's will for you. You're gonna miss out on the assignment that he has. This lane I'm walking on, I just walked up a hill by the way, <laughs> but this lane I'm walking on, it is off the beaten path. And that is how the Lord may take you off the beaten path at times. You can't be on the road everyone else is because the Lord has a specific assignment for you. Was it 2 Kings 4? A Shunammite woman, her child died, so she went to Elisha to try to resurrect that child. And Elisha sent Gehazi's servant to the child. And he gave him a command. It's like, don't say anything to anyone. It's like, if anyone greets you, just move out. Focus on what you need to do. Paraphrasing, of course. And that's what we have to do with the Lord. Where sometimes it may be popular issues. And we cannot allow them to distract us from what the Lord wants us to do. So I mentioned about Candace Owens. And the expose that she's doing on Kamala Harris. And by the way. I was here in 2022 and one of my family members looked into our family's lineage and the paperwork that you got like death certificates, marriage certificates, birth certificates were actually provided by the Church of Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormons here in Jamaica and the documents that Candace presented looks just like the documents my um my cousin found that he got from the Mormon church here in Jamaica. So it, it looks like Candace Owens is on the right track. But as I said, that was not something for me to help with, even though I'm in a position locationally to help. Another thing that can be a distraction in this time, P. Diddy. There are things that are going on with him. And we have to be careful that the Candace Owens stuff, the P. Diddy stuff, or whatever else doesn't distract us. Ah. Doesn't distract us from what the Lord wants us to do. And even those dogs a while ago, guarding their territory, Rather than running, I just kept on the path the Lord has me on to stay in my lane. So don't let the Candace Owens stuff, no matter how intriguing it may be, distract you from what the Lord wants you to do in this season. Don't let the P. Diddy stuff distract you because the Lord will deal with all parties involved. And another note, a friend sent me something our friend was communicating with me yesterday and I told a friend that Donald Trump, when he speaks, when he reads, he's not very eloquent. And it reminds me of Moses, almost like he's slow speech. He's not very articulate in that manner. But if you're speaking to him and you're trying to argue with something, then he's quick witted. When it comes to reading, Almost like he's slow of speech. 
And I mentioned about him being like Moses because God used Moses too, despite his um, speech issues. But in God using Moses, he used his brother Aaron as a spokesperson. And I saw a little bit of the debate last night between J.D. Vance and Tim Walls. And it seems as if J.D. Vance, who's more eloquent than Donald Trump, was like his Aaron, someone who could actually speak and communicate the message. And even with that, it also ties into stay in your lane. Because sometimes we may want to be in a position out on the forefront, maybe speaking to the public, and the Lord may have someone else to do that. And it doesn't take away from our function because if Donald Trump becomes president, he'd be higher than J.D. Vance who'd become the vice president. So there are certain things that we have to learn to yield to another. This also ties into marital relationships. God is head of Jesus. Jesus is head of man. And man is head of woman. But sometimes men can put women in a place where they are not living up to their full potential. You remember how when Jesus was being um, persecuted and Pontius Pilate's wife communicated a dream that she had. Why didn't God give Pontius Pilate the dream as opposed to the wife having the dream? And Pontius Pilate actually listened to his wife. In Genesis 21, when the Lord blessed Sarah with Isaac, she told Abraham to put away Hagar and Ishmael. And the Lord actually told Abraham, listen to your wife. So that also ties into staying in your lane and realizing that there are others who may be equipped maybe for a certain time or for a season or even a lifetime in areas that you're not but to stay in your lane. Now, I'm going to be driving by Discover Bay in a few. That is the entrance towards um, Brownstown for me, or one of the entrances. But I'm only going to drive by it. And on this lane, even though I've known about it for years, and I'm walking alone, I'm about to turn around so I can head back and get on that very important mission. So again, last night, I wanted to pray. But the Lord had other things in mind. It wasn't for me to pray and say. It was for me to... <laughs> Hello, technical difficulty here my, um, with my gimbal. But it wasn't for me to pray and say. It was for me to be in a position to listen. I'm not sure what's going on here with my gimbal, but <laughs> this is shoddy camera work here towards the end. But even with that, we can't be so focused on mm, we can't be so focused on perfection. <laughs> oh gosh, we can't be so focused on perfection that we're too busy looking at things how they look that we're trying to curate we're trying to orchestrate a certain look and sometimes curating a certain look to induce a certain feel which in some aspects is witchcraft <laughs> and if the Lord tells people to do it that's fine but like sometimes when people are doing videos and they're ministering and they have music in the background and of course, the Second Kings three, there is a place for music and um, prophetic ministry, but sometimes it is to induce a certain feeling. But when people are curating things, try to make it seem perfect, like seem presidential. Do not judge by appearances, but judge righteous judgment, as the Lord Jesus Christ said. In John 7, 24. Because in this hour, we need discernment. And yes, I just walked up another hill. 
as I close this video, I'm going to show another scene of where I am right now. Hopefully you could see that, but this is part of the beautiful countryside <laughs> of Jamaica. One other thing, when I was walking the opposite direction, you could see me clearly. But now that I'm walking back because of the position of the sun, you can't see me as clearly. I'm the same person, different lighting conditions. And unfortunately, <laughs> Sometimes on the right light, something can seem better than it is. On the wrong light, something can seem worse than it is. And as I was inspired to post recently, sometimes a part of witchcraft is trying to smear a person to cause others to not perceive the individual correctly. Try to make the person look good or try to make the person look bad, which is a form of witchcraft. And if you're familiar with my testimony, that is a topic the Lord has had me speak about on numerous occasions. So again, with all the things going on in the world, yeah, you can listen to certain things for situational awareness, another military term, but ensure that you're on the Lord's path that he has for you at this hour, and you're doing what he has called you to do. Because if you want to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant, I close with this. Remember in accordance with Romans 8.14, those who live by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. God bless you, and Jesus the Christ is Lord.